with Storm and Strange. Y'all make yeah. sure you subscribe. Subscribe. There Gotta pay go. my bills. There you go. There you go. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name is Courtney, or Storm, or Stranger Danger, whichever one you want to pick. I know I'm not drinking Red Bull. I am drinking coffee today. Caffeine as usual. Gotta hit my vape. So this is gonna be a story time. Today's story time is gonna be about how the Vine legend, King Batch, gave me my very own therapy session for free. I probably still owe him like $3,000 for that, but. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, or maybe a week, I don't know my time, I went with my friend Anissa, and she's my new friend that I met at my local bar. So, shout out Anissa, what's up? Dad? I had no one to go with, so I just picked her, and I was like, come with me. You couldn't buy single tickets, you can only buy tickets of sets of two or four. So so I spent $64 on two tickets. I did not get to record any part of the comedy show. This is a comedy show, by the way. I never got, I never got to, blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ. Sound like Yoda. When the weed starts hitting you. So King Batch, the vine legend himself, if you don't know who he is, I'll put some of his vines, some of his TikToks, some of his content up here for you guys to just check out. If you guys don't know who he is, this is who King Batch is. All right, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, see you Friday. What's Friday? Friday? Did I say Friday? There's something going on, though. I'm down. Unless I wasn't the one giving out the info. It ain't even my crib we're going to. Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of bitches, but listen, listen. Oh, Cole, what is up? So, King Batch is on tour right now, or maybe not anymore. I don't know what his schedule is, but he came here to Colorado. He did a little comedy show, and it was actually my first comedy show I've ever been to. I was very grateful that it was King Batch. So it was either King Batch or Kevin Hart. I know they're they're not comparable at all to most people, but to me, they're both legends, and they're both fucking hilarious. I didn't get to film any of the comedy because you're not allowed to film the show or take pictures or any of that. I did do a meet and greet with him afterwards. I will show you those videos in a second and pictures, so I didn't get much content, so this video is not gonna show too much content, but I did take a video at the bar. Me and my friend Anissa went to our local bar. I don't drink anymore. I am now, I've just been diagnosed as, I'm allergic to alcohol. I cannot drink alcohol, it just does not. Oh yeah. Oh. My body just rejects it. Molly must not be crushed up all the way. Let me uh, fix it. I know, going to the bar, don't drink liquor, what the fuck you're doing? Well, I don't go there for the liquor, I go there for the people. Me and her decided to go to the bar, get something to eat, she got something to drink, and we just chilled, I got a Red Bull, as usual. Then we decided to come back to my place, get all my stuff ready, we took off to the show. Okay, let's do this. So some of the, the bar footage here. I'm at the bar. Okay, look how clear it is. It is. Like Chilling, waiting to go see King Bat. Alright, don't ever fucking smile again. I'm even gonna zoom in on myself. Look, I can see myself. <laughs> let me see. I can see you see. What up? Oh my god, lick in the bottle. Then, when we got there, they actually sat me all the way in the back. Chilling at the improv with my girl. And I have like really bad vision and very bad hearing sometimes. I don't want to be all the way in the back. We did get there kind of late. I didn't really like get a chance to get good seats. But because of the ADA Association, the American Disabilities Act, I am a disabled person. Yes, I used to be very much so against stereotyping myself as that, but I am now proud to say I am disabled. And when I need to take advantage of my disability privileges, 
I will do that, especially if I want to have a good show and have a good time and not regret sitting all the way in the back and not be able to see or hear anything and like, what the fuck did I come? So I did ask them, I said, do you guys have ADA accommodations? And they said yes. So they actually put me and my friend Anissa in a table with two other guys. I forgot their names, but they're actually pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys are watching this, but what's up? We sat at their table and it was right next to the stage. The stage was literally I can touch it. So yeah, the show starts. There's a comedian that's before King Batch. I do not know his name. I'm so horrible for this video. So if he's watching this, I hope he's not because he's gonna think I'm horrible for not remembering his name. But I remember his act and it was amazing. I do gotta say he did mention, he did do this little like comedy rant about women with fucked up feet and how you can't cuddle them correctly and blah, blah, blah. Oh, look, look at your feet. What the fuck is wrong with my feet? You think this shit is a game? I am going to say here, sit here, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm proud of it, and I'm not gonna say I'm ashamed of it. I'm kind of like in between, but my foot's really fucked up, and I am gonna be getting surgery on it soon, hopefully, if I can get my shit together and make an appointment. But I'm gonna be getting the surgery. My foot's always been really fucked up, and I've always been very self-conscious of it. And honestly, if I heard this joke years ago, like nine, eight years ago, I would have been very, very upset and probably would have walked out. Don't ever disrespect my feet like that again. That was old me and now new me is, you know, I'm ready for criticism. Okay, I got fucked up feet. Cool, I'm gonna get them fixed though. So that is a process. But this dude made a joke and it was fucking hilarious. I didn't take offense to it at all. And that's the thing, if you go to a comedy show and you are a very easily offended by things, don't go to a comedy show because you literally, like I said, if it was me eight or nine years ago and I decided to go to this comedy show, I would have been the person to walk out. I wouldn't say anything because I don't want to disrupt anything and I don't want to get kicked out, but I'd remove myself from the situation and cry in the corner for a bit and hate my life. I do know a lot of people are like that. They take things to heart. I mean, fucking Will Smith just hit the fuck out of Chris Rock. <laughs> Oh, wow! If you guys didn't see that, then hi, are you under a rock? That happens a lot, and that guy, this guy actually did mention that. He did mention the Will Smith situation with Chris Rock, and he said that he himself has had people come up to him <laughs> while he's doing his show and just completely sock him in the face and fuck him up. It does happen a lot in, to com comedians, and that's, I look up to comedians. I, I, I can't say I'm a comedian myself. I, I do think I am kind of funny sometimes. The only reason I say that is because sometimes I edit my videos and I just shake my head. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not funny. I'm just really like, what the fuck is wrong with you type of person. You just want to think twice, like, does, is she okay? Is she good? Does she need help? Assistance with anything. Am I okay? No. Am I good? Sometimes. Do I need assistance? Bitch, I'm fucking disabled. So, yes. Mentally and physically. I'm not in a wheelchair though, I can walk. I was in a wheelchair once, won a lot of those races. Anyways, back to my story. So this comedian guy, he left and then we had a musical act, a singer, and I actually forgot his name as well. So sorry. This video is basically just about King Batch right now, so I'm sorry if I do not recognize anybody else besides the king himself. I'll do anything to make it. So there's musical guests. Um, whoa, I just got really high. Then all of a sudden King back. Hi. Sorry, my dog just likes to appear randomly in my videos sometimes. This is Stitch. So King Batch comes on, he you know, high fives me because I'm right by the stage and I am excited, like I'm freaking out and I've you know had my fair share of Red Bulls, I'm, I'm hyped, I'm right there in front of him and I'm just like, whoa! You okay? You look like you've seen a gorgeous black ghost, but I'm not Casper, I will wreck your shit. And he looks at me, <laughs> he looks at me and he's like, how much coke you on? <laughs> It was pretty funny. He, he basically called me out right before his fucking act. Like I was just the victim right there. But I put myself in that position because I'm just an attention whore. And when I see somebody I looked up to for so many years, I get kind of fangirlish and freaked out. So if he thought I was high on something, then it was definitely adrenaline and fangirliness. So he comes up and he does his skit, his act. I'm not going to just expose his whole act for you guys. I'm just gonna talk about like a couple of things he's talked about. 
out because I think he is still on tour and if you guys would like to go see him in your state, I will put the link in the description below where you can buy his tickets and check that out. I Like I said, I don't know last time I checked, I mean not stalking him or anything, but his Instagram, he was in Ireland. So I don't know if that's part of his tour, if it is and you're in Ireland or anywhere near there, make sure you buy your tickets because this is a great show and King Batch is fucking hilarious. So King Batch, he was talking about all kinds of stuff. At one point he mentioned Justin Bieber. When he mentioned Justin Bieber, I freaked the fuck out. I just was like, what? Like that, like just, whoa, that was weird. I didn't, nothing came out. I'm gonna try that again. Whoa, ah! So <laughs> that was like freaking out and he looks directly at me and he's like, bro, calm down. Justin ain't here. You don't chill, you whack ass blonde Pocahontas. He was basically saying how he would go to the club with Justin and Floyd Mayweather. And on the way to the fight, y'all. Yeah, on the way. He was like, I look over and Floyd Mayweather just grabs a stack and starts throwing that money for student loans towards these girls. It's like, and then I looked at Justin and he was ordering a VIP section for $50,000. And I'm just like, bro, what? I just carry $10,000 cash around. I mean, that's what rich people do. We stayed there for an hour and then he wanted to go to a different location and spend more money on that. Like, no, bro, we just spent $50,000 on this spot. I am staying right here. <laughs> I am staying right here. Here, my feet is planted on the earth. It made me laugh really hard because if you knew Trust the Beaver back in the day, he can party. What's up? Make yourself at home, man. I'm lobster tail. What are you doing? Nigga, you said make yourself at home. Yes, bitch, all of that. <laughs> Come on, Trey. God, you're lucky. He's so lucky you got to party with Justin Bieber. That's like a dream. Anyways, and he talked about some other things. You guys are probably like, what the fuck with the, the title of this, which is I like, gave me a therapy session. Yes, he gave me a therapy session. He started asking questions. I don't remember what the question was. I don't know how it came up, but I just yelled out, therapy. He looked directly at me and he's like, therapy? You go to therapy? And I say, yeah, every day for 20 years. And he sits down on his little stool and talks to me. What do you talk about? And I'm like, oh, just anything and everything, my life, you know, going through shit, PTSD, life mistakes and all that. And so he gives me some advice and I, you know, talk back and, and right as I'm, I'm telling him more of my issues, he cuts me off. And he says, you're done, time's up, that'll be $3,000. I was like, bro, do you take Medicaid? <laughs> He's like, no, I take bills only. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good therapy session. It lasted for exactly a minute. And King Batch is honestly a really cool guy. I got to meet him at the end of the show and he's so nice, he's so sweet. And he's exactly how he is in all of his vines and like that's just his energy like when he's not on stage he's still being a comedian that's just his natural form is being a comedian that's just his personality he doesn't snap out of it ever he's always making jokes he's always on top of his shit he's all oh, i can actually snap with those finger i thought arthritis it doesn't let me do that but no he can get on top of his jokes within like seconds you just get caught off guard but he's really really cool and he made this video for me which you guys saw at the beginning Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm with Storm Stranger right now. Hey, make sure you subscribe. Gotta pay those bills. Gotta pay those bills. Yeah. Subscribe. You guys need to listen to him and and do as he says and um, subscribe to my channel, both of my channels. Yeah, so that was my story time basically on meeting King Batch and seeing my first comedian show. It was awesome, it was fun. I ended up going to the bar afterwards and having a karaoke night. So sang a little bit of karaoke, chill with some friends, went to bed and now, like three weeks later, I'm finally making this video. But thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other channel, my vlog channel, if you want to see vlogcasts, um, which is a podcast vlog. Yes, I made that up. I don't know if I made that up. I didn't cop it from anybody. I just, it just popped out of my ass one day, and I was like, whoop gotcha i'll put the link below because so go check that out we talk about all kinds of different things yeah make sure you subscribe for more videos and leave a comment below also king batch i love you i don't know if you're gonna see this or not if you do i hope you're doing awesome yeah so <laughs> i don't know i'm awkward as fuck but yeah thank you for watching and like comment and subscribe okay bye storm out